Hoops, and I am the Employer Relations Coordinator with Austin Community College on your Career Services team, and we are here to serve, support, and assist you. Um, today's topic is Handshake. Handshake is so much more than a job board, and we're going to get into a lot of details about Handshake shortly, um, and we're also going to cover uh, information about career services and different things that um, you have access to as an ACC student or alumni. So again, thank you so much for sharing your time today. I do see a message in chat. Um, oh, good. I love it. Thank you for the invitation. Um, that's so nice that you're here. Okay. I do want to be respectful of everyone's time, so I'm going to jump into it. I uh, send out a big thanks to all of my teammates who are on the call, also helping to monitor chat and helping to um, admit students who come in. Okay, great. So um, real quick in the chat. How many of you have accessed Handshake before? If you haven't, that's absolutely fine. Um, it is a fairly new platform to ACC. We've been an, a Handshake partner for just about a year now. But if you have used Handshake before in the chat, just say I have or me or anything like that. I'm watching. And again, if you have it, that's fine because that's what this session is for. Okay. So real quickly, and that is absolutely fine. Oh, good, a couple of people have. Nice. Well, then today we're going to start from the basics, from logging in for the very first time, all the way up to how to optimize the platform for you. So um, information for everyone. So first of all, what is Handshake? Handshake is ACC's digital job board and recruiting platform. Um, it's very similar to LinkedIn, but what is unique about Handshake and what is preferential to Handshake over LinkedIn for us is that the employers who are on Handshake, who are sourcing for their jobs, are sourcing college students specifically or early career, early talent. On LinkedIn, a lot of those recruiters, um, they're searching for people for their jobs who have years of experience. Handshake, they're looking specifically for you. So um, that's the advantage Handshake has for us over LinkedIn. Um, one other thing is, it's pretty similar to LinkedIn. Once you create your Handshake profile, once you learn how to navigate this platform, it's very easy to copy and paste your information over to LinkedIn because it certainly wouldn't help to also have the LinkedIn profile. It's only going to serve to help you. Um, but today we're focusing on the Handshake side of it. Okay. Handshake is the number one way college students get jobs. Handshake was invented by, by college students for college students. So um, the inventors of the platform, they were in college when they created it. It's been around, gosh, less than 10 years, I think, but it's a very vast platform. Um, they were like, as a student, this is what I need on a recruiting platform. And then they've grown and finessed from there. Um, so uh, every, every ACC student already has an account. All you have to do is log in to activate your account, answer some onboarding questions, upload your resume, and then you can start getting recruited by top employers for full-time jobs, part-time jobs, internships, all sorts of opportunities. And there is an app. There's a digital app absolutely free. You can download and put it on your phone. And I've even heard stories from students who have said once they have their profile set up and the resume uploaded, using the app on their phone, they can apply for jobs in as easy as two clicks. Sometimes while they're standing in line waiting for their lunch, they're applying for jobs. So um, the platform is very vast and very easy to use. Okay, as I mentioned, you already have an account. All ACC students have one. The first time you log in, you're asked onboarding questions. The second time you log in, you're not gonna be asked those questions. It's gonna take you directly to your landing page where you will see job opportunities listed there, events that we have um, going on on the campus or in the community. And I'll let you know, the more you interact with Handshake, the more you log into it, the more the platform learns you and your preferences, so that it is able to, on your landing page, so show you the exact kind of jobs of your interest. Um, the onboarding questions that we're about to get into, I get it that they're kind of tedious. The first time I logged into Handshake, I wanted to see the jobs. So I kind of skipped through those questions. What ended up happening is when I got to my landing page, it was showing me all jobs on the platform. I was seeing jobs in um, culinary, hospitality, and I was looking for specific IT jobs. So I wasn't seeing what matched my interests. If I had taken the time to go through the onboarding questions, 
then the landing page would have showed me directly the kinds of jobs that match my interests. You still have access to all jobs on here. You can search for and see every job on there, but what they wanna do is match so that when you get to your landing page, you're seeing things you're excited about. And then the more you log into Handshake and the more you use it, the kind of searches you do, it has that artificial intelligence. Well, it will match what's on the platform with your interests. Okay, um, to access Handshake. There's several different ways you can go about doing it. And I could have uploaded a QR code, but I'll let you know I didn't intentionally because oftentimes when I sit through presentations and there's a quick, short, easy way for me to use my phone and get to the link later on, I'm like, how did I get there? I can't find that QR code. So I'm going to step you through the long way. And I do want to mention too, that as far as today's presentation, um, we're covering the desktop version of Handshake. Again, there is a quick app you can download on your phone, but I'm not going to demo that one today. So to access Handshake, I encourage you to go to austincc.edu forward slash career. That's your career services website, or excuse me, your career services page on the ACC website. You'll see all sorts of information there, but as soon as you log in to austincc.edu forward slash career, on the screen, you'll see an orange button that says job postings. When you click on job postings, it'll take you to another screen where you can see access online. That's where I click. I always go that route because number one, I wanna see what additional information and events may be on the career website. And I know I can follow those links and get to Handshake that way. All right, um, after you click on access online, it will take you to ACC's Handshake page. You will see a blue button that says Austin Community College sign on. Click that button and you will be prompted to enter your typical credentials where you enter your um, student ID and your password. And once you go through that, and I'm moving all these boxes around because you guys, I'm obsessed with the chat box. I don't want to close it out. Okay. <laughs> um, the first time you log in, after you enter your Octa credentials, you will be hit with the onboarding questions. Again, the purpose of the onboarding questions is to help the platform learn about you. Take the 10 minutes that it takes to go through these questions. It will truly help you to like Handshake better so that when you get to your landing page, again, it matches uh, the jobs you see match your interest. Okay, the first question that Handshake asks you is, do you wanna make your profile visible? And I'll let you know the options. You have three different options here. You can choose community, employers, or private, and what that means to you. If you leave it at the community option, which is the default one Handshake has selected for you, that means that through the platform, you will be able to message other students and alumni who also have a public profile. Employers will be able to find you on the profile on, on the platform. They'll be able to search for candidates, find you and message you, encouraging you to apply for their roles. And they do that. They're very active. Um, and of course, you can also browse for jobs and resources on Handshake. Now, I want to go back to this first bullet point up here where I said you can message other students and alumni with a public profile. Very often, when you find a job on Handshake you're interested in and you click on that job to read the details, there will be a feature in the job description that says, would you like to see other students and alumni who have worked at this organization? You can click on that button and it will show you other students and alumni who have a public profile who've opened themselves up to messaging and you can click on their names to send them a quick message. Something like, hey, I'm interested in this position I saw with this particular employer. Handshake said you have experience working there. What can you tell me? Did you like it? What did you not like? Um, can you give me some insight for the interview process? This is a low stakes way for you to get more information about the jobs you're interested in. You're not responding to the hiring manager, which Handshake allows you to do that often too but you're responding to somebody who has experience at that employer and just say, hey, what insights can you give me? I'm kind of interested, wondering if I should explore. Um, please reach out, let's me find out what we can do about this. So um, a low stakes way, that's the community option. The employer's option of making your profile visible just to employers. You won't have the access to message um, other students or alumni, but you will receive messages from employers and recruiters. And of course you can browse for jobs. If you are not actively job seeking, you may choose to leave your profile private for right now. You'll still be able to browse jobs and resources. Employers won't be able to find you. Maybe you haven't finalized your resume yet. Um, maybe you're wanting to meet with a career services representative to learn how to uh, 
optimize your resume before you make your profile public. So you can leave it private. You have that option. You won't be able to message others and others won't be able to message you. Okay, that's your first question. The next onboarding questions you get to, before we even address those, I wanna point out this progress bar that you'll see across the top of the screen. Oh, this progress bar gave me so much comfort. Again, I was a little impatient. I wanted to get through these onboarding questions and get to the meat of it. Um, it helped me to be able to watch, like, am I almost done? Is it almost finished with this onboarding process? Again, it really only took 10 or 20 minutes and it only happened once. Um, you can go back and edit your answers later, but the progress bar may give you the same kind of comfort it gave me, so I wanted you to be aware of it. So after your, you address how public you want your profile to be, the next series of questions, it asks you um, for your pronouns and your demographic information. These two questions are optional. You can answer them if you want to, or you can skip them. The next series of questions, and they try to make it really easy and fast for you, it's boxes that you can just click to select. Um, Handshake wants to know what kind of job are you interested in? Are you looking for full-time, part-time, internships? If you're not sure yet, you have that option also. There's the not sure yet button. The next series of questions asks you, where do you want to work? You can select cities that it offers by default. It offers popular cities. You can click anywhere. Um, you can add information. I added some smaller towns um, that you just use the search bar up here. Oops, sorry, I went a little fast there. Um, you can use the search bar to add additional cities. I added Kyle, Georgetown, Del Rio. You just start typing. So after you tell Handshake where you want to work, the next question asks you for your industry preferences. What industries are on your radar? And again, they give you some default options. These default options are based on your student record. As we said earlier, every ACC student already has an account. So Handshake looks at your student record, what your declared major is with the college, and it tries to match your interests there. So the default options you see are based on that information that was already uploaded for you. Um, I've had students who've said, you know what, I've changed my major. I'm not exactly interested in that anymore. That's fine. You can always add other industries by using the toolbar across the top. When you start typing in something, there'll be a box that, that drops down that'll autofill for you. So for example, I added aerospace, started typing, it showed up. I didn't even get the word all the way finished. Can click on aerospace and it'll get added as one of the options down here. All right, the next thing Handshake wants to know, oh, am I frozen? I just saw something pop up. Am I still frozen? Oh, I hope you're not. good. I still oh, see good. you. Good. Yeah, good. You're doing great, Charla. Okay, you're good. Back. I saw it. See that chat, y'all. Um, okay, maybe I ought to close it. Um, the next question that Handshake asks you for is the qualities you're looking for in an employer. Not only does Handshake want to match your interests as far as the type of job you're seeking, but the type of employer you want. So Handshake gives you the option to choose up to five qualities, and I'll let you know it's five total across these three categories. So company culture, types of employers, and company supports. Maybe you're really excited about working at a startup, or maybe you want a well-known established company. You can select those options. Company culture, is it important to you that you work somewhere that is really mission-driven? Most companies are now, and that's very exciting to see. Um, but you have options here that you can choose some uh, aspects of company culture, types of employers, and company supports. Maybe it's very important to you that you work for a company that has LGBTQA supports in place. They're called employee resource groups usually. Um, you can select options that match your interests so that Handshake shows you, hey, you wanted a company like this and you're interested in jobs like that. I got you. On your landing page, this is what you're going to see. Okay, after you answer questions about the kind of employer you want, the next thing Handshake wants to know is the types of jobs you want. So earlier you were talking industry, now you can drill down and narrow a little bit more. What types of jobs are you searching for? Again, this is based on your student record, but you can come in and add additional things. Software developer. Um, I didn't see anything on here that had to do with uh, tech support when I logged in. And tech support is uh, very often a great entry level role into the world of IT. So I started typing in tech, information tech, just to see what options it would give me from the drop down menu. And I had quite a few that I could select to add to um, what Handshake was already showing me. The next section or the next question you're asked is about your skills. This is not the time to be humble. Do an accurate self-reflection 
You want to make sure that you're being honest here, but skills, that is the language of employers. These are the keywords they look for when they're looking for candidates to match their needs. So again, the default skills that Handshake is going to give you for you to select is based on your student record. I told the platform I was an IT major. So it's giving me um, common skills for computer science students for me to select. If I have experience in C++ or Python or Java, those would be the things that I would select. Also make sure you're adding in your soft skills. Maybe you're a great um, communicator. Maybe you have excellent um, teamwork skills. You're great at collaboration. You're great at project management, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you add it in. Again, be re reflective and honest. Really spend some time thinking about it, but add as many skills as you can that are truly reflective of you. And that will enhance or increase um, how employers find you and how many employers reach out to you asking you to apply for their jobs. Add in your relevant courses. And there's a section for GPA. Now we'll talk about GPA in a second. As far as your relevant courses, I do encourage students at the end of every semester, log back into this and I'll show you how you can get back to this information um, and add your additional relevant courses. Um, I have a college, my son is in college right now. He just finished organic chemistry or he will finish organic chemistry this semester. And he's a chemistry major looking for a chemistry internship. A lot of those employers who are hiring for internships require their candidates to have completed certain courses before they're eligible for the job. Organic chemistry is one of them. So I told them, oh, as soon as you're done with that class, log back into your handshake profile and add that on there so employers will know that you're a viable candidate. Okay, so add whatever relevant courses. And then as far as your GPA, ACC does not upload your GPA. We do not do that. If you want to make that information visible to employers, you can add it in at this onboarding question and click on make visible, or you can skip it. Again, we don't automatically upload that. Some employers ask for it. It's not as common as you would think. Okay, uh, and the next onboarding question has to do with your clubs or your organizations. Employers really like to see this. If you have experience in any clubs or student organizations, um, volunteer organizations in the community, please do add them. You can select some here, type in new ones if, if what you're looking for isn't showing up as an automatic option. But again, employers like to see this. Okay, past work and volunteer experience. We're getting close to being finished with these onboarding questions, y'all. Um, past work and volunteer experience. Where have you worked or volunteered before? Again, they give you some default options. You can always add more. If you add a company here, which I had to do, it will ask you a series of follow-up questions, very short ones, like what was your role with that company? Um, quick information like that. Okay, this is the last question. Where have you worked or volunteered? After you answer that question, you hit submit. Our progress bar that was showing up across the top will show we are 100% complete with the onboarding and boom, you are at the Handshake landing page. Now, again, I took screenshots. This isn't a live demo and I'll let you know why. As I mentioned, you only see those onboarding questions once. When I log into Handshake now, I don't see them. So in order for me to be able to show students what it's like the first time you log in, I had to go create a second account um, and I would have to continually do that. So, and Handshake always tries to match my email. It was a mess. So I just took the screenshots and I apologize if they're a little bit blurry. I think I need new glasses because they looked clean to me when I created the, the presentation. But after your onboarding questions, boom, you are at the Handshake homepage. I'll be honest with you, I don't spend a lot of time here. And I could, if I were to scroll down further on the screen, it does show me some events that are coming up. These are events that are happening at ACC, hosted by your ACC Career Services team or departments, or their community events. Um, sometimes they could be virtual events, but it's something that we believe in the Career Services team, we believe relates to our student population in some way, maybe a specific major, maybe all majors, but it's career information that might be beneficial. So um, you can scroll down and see more information here. Typically, I'm interested in my toolbar across the top. And I will let you know, Handshake has updated their screen since I made this presentation. Instead of these options being across the top, they're now a menu bar on the left. That being said though, over on the far right-hand side, 
this information right here, this last little circle, that's very important. And that is still on the far right hand side. Right now, after you go through your onboarding questions, um, that little circle is going to have your initials. After you go through a few more steps to update your profile, those initials might change to your picture if you upload a picture. So that's what we're going to talk about right now, this little icon over on the far right hand side. It is very, very, very important to set up your Handshake profile. You went through onboarding questions. Those onboarding questions have informed some things in your profile, but your profile is not 100% complete yet. And students with a 100% complete profile are five times more likely to be noticed by employers. Five times more um, over somebody with an incomplete profile. The employer will reach out, look at it, they'll source for you, they'll look at your skill set, they'll look at your profile, and if it's complete, they'll go, hey, I'm going to message that person and encourage them to apply. Okay, you click on your initials on the far right-hand side, you'll get a drop-down menu, and the top option is My Profile. We're going to spend a couple of minutes at the My Profile section. If you have a professional resume, if you have your resume set, ready to go, you believe that resume is helping you put your most professional foot forward, then we encourage you to build your uh, handshake profile with your resume. If you don't have your resume ready yet, no worries, we're here to help you with that. If you have it ready and when you have it ready, you'll log in to Handshake, click on the little icon on the far right, go to my profile and upload your resume. Let Handshake build your profile from your resume. It's the fastest way. And again, if your resume is top notch, then your profile is gonna to be top notch. Now, a couple of different ways that um, your career services team can assist you in creating your resume. We offer a strategies for today's jobs class, absolutely free. And as a matter of fact, you don't even have to be an ACC student. Anyone in the community can take this class. It is a four week comprehensive job skills class. And what I mean by job skills, it's skills to help you land the job. Um, in the class, I'll go over how to create your resume, how to do a tailored job search, how to prepare for the interview, all that stuff. Your career services team can also offer all of that in one-on-one um, -on -one appointments. So if you're not taking the strategies class, you can schedule an appointment with a career specialist. Even if you are in the class, you can still do this, but it's kind of the same content that's being covered. Um, you would go to austincc.edu forward slash career and click on request an appointment. There's no cost for this service. We are an add-on service for all ACC students, and you have access to us for life. So five years from now, 10 years from now, when you're going for a promotion with your company and you're ready to update your resume or showcase some skills that will make, uh, make it evident and obvious to the employer that you are the prime candidate for that role, you can come back and meet with our specialists. And we will meet with you and go over um, the latest trends and all sorts of um, helpful assistance in your career endeavors. Okay, you can also create your profile without up uploading your resume. Um, this, you would just have to manually enter information in each one of the sections. I do wanna point out on the screen, the My Profile screen, there is a progress bar again that is telling me your profile is, and I was at 30% complete just by answering the onboarding questions. Already I'm at 30, I just have 70% more to go so that I can get to that, um, that category where employers will see me as an attractive candidate over somebody who has an incomplete profile. Um, all right, I already mentioned that and five times faster. Okay, if you do upload your resume, once you have your resume ready and you upload it, you tell Handshake you wanna build your uh, profile based on your resume, I do wanna point out one thing real quick. Um, I created my profile by uploading my resume. Handshake grabs the information, but it doesn't publish it yet until I check it. So I need to look at each section and click the blue add button. We've had several students who have uploaded their resume, told Handshake, build my profile by, by uploading my resume, but they didn't realize they needed to go back in and click the add button to make sure the information actually is published and shows up. So I do wanna point that out. Um, that's happened a couple of times. Okay, um, so. I've uploaded my resume. I told Handshake, build my profile for my resume. And I went through and I clicked the add button for each section. Now I'm gonna look at each section individually. This is where I can add a photo. The little pencil icon is what you can use to edit each section. There is an option for you to enter information about your journey. 
this is really a, a good thing to do for your employers. You get to add just a couple of sentences here describing what you're looking for, what your career goal, goals are. If you're pivoting industries, this is very, very important. We have quite a few students who come to ACC. They have previous work experience in one industry, but they are transitioning to another industry. They're taking classes, reskilling, upskilling in a different area. If they didn't explain that, an employer may look at their past resume, their past work experience and think, did this person really mean to apply for this job? So this is your opportunity to say, I have past work experience in this industry, but I am taking those transferable skills and applying them now in this direction. And you list some of your um, transferable skills and all of that. Again, career services can help you with all of this when you're ready. Another thing I wanna point out on the screen, on the lower left, there is an option to see the employer view. If you want to see what your handshake profile looks like, looks like to an employer, click that button. And I encourage everyone to do this. This is how we were able to realize, hey, that student forgot to click that blue add button. The information's there, but it's not published yet. They need to add it so that employers can see it. Also, if you have any indications on the screen that you're missing details, explore that. Use the pencil icon, add the details. Handshake is here to help you. Um, create that profile that employers like to see. All right, I'm at 85% complete after going through those sections. Um, I, the only other thing I need to do, add some more interests and make sure I save what I've got. Oh, I think there's another section on skills too. Yes, okay. Um, again, do an accurate assessment. Add in all the skills that are reflective of you. Again, don't be humble. Add in soft skills, all kinds of stuff. Um, after you have your skills added, something else I want to mention is managing your documents. You may already have your resume uploaded, but you can upload different versions of your resume. You can upload cover letters, transcripts, some apprenticeship jobs, and you will see apprenticeships, some listed on Handshake. Um, some of those employers do require seeing your transcripts. So Handshake makes it very, very easy for you to upload those. You can click on Manage Documents. It'll take you to a screen where... I have my resume. Look, I can choose to make my resume visible or not at this option. Um, cover letters. I could have a public profile and not have my uh, resume public if I don't want to. Always encourage you to have your resume public, have it visible if you are actively job seeking. I can add different versions of cover letters and additional documents. One thing I don't like about this screen is when I got here, I thought, how do I get back to my profile? It doesn't easily give me a, a button. Um, like an obvious button to say, click here to get back to your profile. So I had to use the back arrow. Um, I just didn't want anyone to panic and think, oh no, did it lose my information? It didn't, just use your back arrow to get back. Okay, last things you need to do, add your organizations and your extracurriculars, relevant okay. courses and projects. Don't diminish your classroom projects. This is a great opportunity, especially if you have limited work experience for you to think, okay, I'm going for a job in this industry. I've been taking classes that align with that industry. What projects have we done in my classes that I can list and highlight to employers that I do have some experience here? Um, I know I keep going back to the IT examples, but if you participate in hackathons, anything like that, this is your opportunity for you to list that so that employers know everything you bring to the table. All right. I went through every section. I added information everywhere. My profile is 100% complete. I'm going to click to see the employer view so that I know what employers are seeing on here. And I'm excited by it. I am ready to go. I'm starting my job search. Oh, I'm glad I made this, uh, this slide yellow because it stands out to all of us. There may be times, we went through our onboarding questions, we've set up our profile. There may be times that our career interests change from the time we entered our profile information. Maybe we change our major. Um, you can always get back and edit that information. Again, click on the little icon on the far right-hand side. Um, it'll either have your initials or your picture. You can go to my career interests. The screen doesn't look exactly the same as the onboarding questions you went through. It's the same content though. So if you need to edit it, go back to, click on your icon, go to my career interests, edit any of that information and also notification preferences. Handshake is a business. Most businesses, when you sign up for their newsletters, 
they're going to send you every single bit of marketing information they have. If you are getting too much information from Handshake, you can edit the notification preferences. I have mindset where I get, I think, a monthly newsletter from Handshake because I do want to be aware of, of uh, trends on the platform. Um, and I get, uh, I made sure that I turned on all employer notices. If an employer emails me or wants to contact me through the platform, I make sure I get that. But I don't need to see every bit of marketing information from Handshake. So if you find that you're a little bit um, aggravated by how many times Handshake is contacting you, you have control over that. Click on your icon and go to notification preferences. Okay, now we're ready to look at the jobs that are on the, that are on the platform. You guys, there are so many jobs. Um, we get contacted by employers. Let's see, Ruthie and I, Ruthie is a member of the career services team. Um, there were, we were averaging more than 200 a day, more than 200 job requests a day to be published to the platform. So um, more opportunities all the time. Log in as frequently as you can to look to see what opportunities are there. And we'll go over a few unique features of Handshake as a job board and recruiting platform. So I log in again, um, my screen, this screenshot shows jobs, events, and employers across the top. These are on the left-hand side now, um, but we're gonna start with searching for jobs. Click on jobs, you can type in um, your keywords, uh, what kind of role are you interested in? You can type it in here. I do encourage you to take advantage of the filters that Handshake makes available to you. Um, this Handshake is a global platform. There are employers all across the world who are advertising jobs on Handshake, and they have selected ACC specifically. There are employers in South Africa trying to hire, trying to hire ACC students. Um, it was uh, students out of our vet tech program. There was a veterinarian in South Africa who was like, hey, I need the help. This is a, an opportunity for somebody who's interested in exploring the world. I'm going to post this job for ACC. If you are not interested in that kind of job in a global job, then you can use the location filter. I'll let you know, I usually go to all filters because it gives me one screen where I can indicate um, the my, my preferences, where I can try to narrow my job search. So at that all filters screen, I can tell it what type of job again. I can say I only wanna see paid opportunities. If you're someone with limited work experience or just a calling to do more volunteer work, you can also search for unpaid opportunities and gain experience that way to add to your resume. Okay. Um, gives you the option for uh, on-site or remote work. There's all sorts of filters in there. So um, set the filters how you want them. Click on the show results button and you will see the resulting um, jobs. Now, maybe you got too narrow. I will let you know that Handshake uses and Boolean logic rather than or Boolean logic. So for example, if I select, I am looking for on-site jobs and remote jobs. That's going to give me a very limited option. It might show me some hybrid jobs where someone is required to be on site and remote. But maybe if what I actually intended was show me all jobs that are on site or all jobs that are remote, it doesn't do the or logic, it does and. So if you see that your results are too narrow, you may need to log back into your all filters, clear them, clear the filters, and then try resetting. All right, um, I'm searching for jobs. Handshake has shown me on my landing page the jobs that match my interest. I can click on a job title to see more details. There, there is an apply button. Sometimes it's an apply external button where when you click it, it'll take you to that employer's external job site. You still start in Handshake, um, but it'll take you externally to apply. Sometimes it's, you know, a, you know, just it'll just say apply. And if you already have your resume uploaded, you can apply in as easy as two clicks for some jobs. Now, if you're not quite ready to apply for a job, maybe you're interested, but you wanna customize your resume a little more, which we recommend customizing your resume for each job. And we know that's tedious, but that will really increase your chances of getting past applicant tracking systems. Maybe that employer has um, a robot they use to filter out candidates. So it is to your advantage to use the same keywords if they match your skill set that the employer uses in their job description, use that on your resume. So I found a job I like, I wanna customize my resume for it. I'm gonna click this little bookmark button to save it so that later on when I have time, I can go to my saved jobs, click again and take the time to actually um, apply with a little more diligence than if I'm standing in line waiting for lunch and just doing my two clicks. Okay, in addition to jobs, we have events on Handshake. 
I alluded to this earlier, there's, um, we will post job fairs in the community. Of course, all of our ACC internal events are listed here. You can click on any one of these to see more information. We post our job fairs. We have an upcoming job fair. And one of the things I really like about Handshake is where you have your job fairs. If you click for more details, you will see the employers who are participating. And let's see, click on the event name. Um, and here, I wanted to get to this screen. You can see the employers who are participating. You can click on their icons to see the kind of jobs that they are hiring for. And you can register for events by using the join event button. So we add new jobs every day. We add new events every day. I encourage you get in here and explore as regularly as you can. Another thing I wanna point out is employers. You can search for specific employers who have Handshake accounts. One of the things I really liked about this platform is um, we had an IT student who said, you know, I know the major IT employers in Austin. I know Google, I know Dell, I know the major ones, Meta, but I don't think I wanna work for a big company. I think I wanna get my feet wet in a smaller company. I'm more interested in, in those kinds of jobs or those employers. So we went to the employer screen. We set up our filters where we said, we wanna see employers in Austin who are in these industries and we selected internet and software and um, computer networking. Then when we searched for them, Handshake returned to us a list of employers who matched our filters and Cloud49. We clicked on Cloud49. What is that company? What do they do? Is this somebody I might be interested in as a job seeker? The student found out that they were interested in Cloud49, so I encourage them to follow that company. You can click these little follow buttons and the advantage of following is when that employer posts new jobs on Handshake or new events, or if that employer registers for one of our job fairs, you will get an alert. If you're following them, you'll get an alert saying, hey, Cloud49 just posted a job. Do you want to be an early applicant? Apply now. Cloud49 is going to be on campus. If you want to meet with them and ask them some questions, here are the details. So we encourage you, follow the employers of your interest. All right, um, you have, I keep mentioning how these employers will message you, or maybe you're an alumni who's worked somewhere um, and, and uh, a student wants to message you and ask questions. You have an inbox within Handshake. If you click on your inbox and it'll alert you when you have new messages, you'll have this little red icon. You can see the messages that employers are sending to you. And again, the kind of messages, I have a student profile, the kind of messages I get are usually things like, hey, we saw your profile. Um, we think you're a great match for this role. We just uh, uploaded. Let me know if you have any questions, please apply. Or it's questions like, hey, we have an event in town. would love to meet you. Please come by. So they're very active on the platform. When you are ready to log out, click on your icon on the far right-hand side, scroll down and choose log out. Um, again, we encourage you to log in often, look for new jobs, look for new employers, look for new events. Um, you can download the app also. It's absolutely free. So we encourage you to do that. And before we wrap up, I have a couple of other things that I want to mention, and then um, we'll do a quick Q&A and hopefully a live demo. So a real quick review, getting started on Handshake. You already have an account. You just need to log in to activate it. Um, I was encouraging you to go to austincc.edu forward slash career and click on job postings. We do also have, um, a, a, what do you call it? A vanity URL, I think is what they call it. You could go to austincc.joinhandshake.com. Answer the onboarding questions. You'll only have to do it once. Again, you can edit those answers later by clicking on the little icon and going down and choosing my career interests. But take the time to answer the onboarding questions and complete your profile. Upload your resume. You can meet with career services or take the strategies for today's jobs class to help you get um, a very professional resume so that you're putting your most professional foot forward. Um, we can assist you with that. Upload it, make connections, search for jobs, reach out to employers, watch for upcoming events. Okay, plug for Career Ready Week. It's Friday of Career Ready Week. What, what? We do Career Ready Week once a semester. In the fall, we do it in October. In the spring, we do it in April. And all of our events are geared to assist you with your career search, your career readiness. And then um, we also have different events. And I've mentioned that strategies for today's jobs class that you could take. We offer resume workshops, LinkedIn workshops, handshake workshops, um, interview prep, all of that. Your career services team is here to help you we can help you explore your career options, make a plan to get you in the direction of the career you want, and then we help 
prepare you for that career. We help prepare you to get your foot in the door with that career. Um, One-on-one career coaching, resume and interview assistance, career exploration. We could even sit down one-on-one with you and go over handshake. If you, if you go, Hey, I attended that workshop. It was pretty fast. I want somebody to sit with me and maybe help me hone in on jobs. Um, we could do that for you. So you just go to austincc.edu forward slash career and click on the request appointment button. Again, it's absolutely free. Okay. Um, strategies for today's jobs class. If you want more information about that, austincc.edu forward slash strategies. And our job fair next week. I have to put in a plug for this event. We are offering your career services team, as well as some individual departments at ACC, we offer several job fairs a semester. Um, our last one for the spring semester is coming up next week, April 26th at Highland from 11 to 1. It'll be in building 1000, the hallway out front, the accelerator, as well as upstairs around the social staircase. We have about 45 employers who are coming across all majors, and they are interested in hiring you. They want to hire ACC students and graduates for their roles. So a few um, employers who will be there, I tried to copy some logos. We have some culinary, Panda Express, Chick-fil-A. Samsung is hiring across multiple business units. They're looking for chemistry students. They're looking for manufacturing students, business students. Um, I love the LCRA. They list in their job descriptions now that they specifically want liberal arts majors. They want students who have experience reading long texts and analyzing those texts for specific information. So um, we have employers for everyone. I encourage you attend the job fair. Even if you're not actively job seeking now, this is an opportunity for you to talk to employers, ask them questions. You could say, hey, I'm a marketing major and I'm still learning about all my opportunities in marketing. Can you tell me about the roles your organization has in marketing? What are the job titles? Um, do you know about the skill sets they look for specifically on resumes? Um, what software does your company use related to that industry? So, excuse me, related to that role. So this is your opportunity to gather information. Um, details, more details about the job fair, of course, can be found on Handshake, as I mentioned, and at austincc.edu forward slash career ready. And you can click on the job fair um, menu option and you can see the list of participating employers there as well. Come visit us. Um, we hope to have a career center at every single, or excuse me, at least at our destination campuses in um, the North and South region. Right now, we have one career and transfer center that we're very excited about. It's located at Highland, building 4,000. Please drop by and come visit us. We love it when students come in and we are there to assist you in any way we can. All right. Thank you, everyone. We have a couple of minutes for questions. It's 1045 and I think our session goes till 11. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. And um, if I need to, I'll log into Handshake Live so that we can all view it. But what questions do you have? Well, we're quiet on a Friday. It's Friday. Anyone? Anyone have any questions? Hello. Hi. Hey, um, I have a question. I um, recently created an account for um, Handshake and I saw that there is an internship and I was wondering if um, whenever you apply for inter internships, um, I, I'm not current, I just started this semester um, at ACC. Do they usually prefer students that are already in classes? For example, graphic design? It depends. It depends on the industry. And usually the job description will tell you what the requirements are. It isn't uncommon for internships for them to say, um, you know, ideally uh, the candidate will have completed two semesters uh, with, you know, within graphic design or must have completed their sophomore year within graphic design. But I will let you know, I encourage you, you don't be the one that blocks yourself from a job. Let the employer be the one. I encourage you apply anyway. And you can say, I am new in my classes, but I'm very interested in working in the industry and being immersed in the industry. I bring these skills and you can talk about outside skills you have maybe experience, whatever experience you have in graphic design, why you're passionate about that. And you might be a candidate that they 
reach out to. My son applied for an internship before he had finished that organic chemistry and the uh, reploy- the employer responded to him and said, hey, we thank you for, for applying. We're excited about your direction. We need our candidates to have completed this organic chemistry, but we're gonna hold on to your resume. Apply again next year. When I look through my records as an employer and I see you were interested last year, now you've completed the requirements and you're coming back to me, I know you're someone who is motivated and truly interested in us, and that's going to bring you to the top of the pile of the candidates. So it can't hurt you to apply. Um, Again, I always say, even when you're looking at other, any job description, if there's eight qualities they say they want, eight requirements, and you meet six of those, apply anyway. You don't be the one who blocks you. Let them be the one, and you never know. There may be a recruiter who says, I see something in this candidate. I see something and I really do think that we have the right mentors in place, the right supervisor in place who can assist this person. So go for it. Always take a chance. Okay, thank you. That helped you. (laughs) Yes. Good, good. Any other questions? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. So uh, you talked about that the free class for how we can land uh, for a job. So may I have more information the, the strategies for today's jobs class? Yes. Sure. So um, let me see if I can uh, share my screen just to show you where to go for that. Will it let me, if I switch tabs, it didn't show that I switched tabs, did it? I don't think um, it's No, it's it. actually showing. I see the oh. strategies for today's jobs <gasps> tab and I'm happy oh, to kind of- Oh, good. Okay, so hold on. My camera's an odd angle. Let me bring it back up. Okay, there. I don't know if you guys can see that because my screen is still just showing my, my handshake presentation. But um, I the way I get here, and again, because I always, I love the vanity URLs, but I can never find Hello? it when I'm on my own later. So austincc.edu is just ACC's landing page, right? You can do a search for strategies for today's jobs. It may even find it if you just type in strategies. But when that page loads, gives you information about what the class is, gives you the dates of when the next class is happening, and it gives you information about how to register. So it's a four-week class. You meet twice a week for two hours each session, and it's just a very comprehensive um, job search. And I'll let you know the skills that you're going to get from this free class are skills you would use your whole life. It's the same kind of information you'll get when you meet one-on-one with a career specialist, but it really gives you confidence when you're doing interviews. And we all have to do interviews our entire life. Those are uncomfortable situations. They tend to make all of us nervous, but you'll be able to go into those interviews more confident and be able to articulate yourself, your skills that you bring a little better. So I highly do encourage that class. Oh, and thank you. Trish put the link in. Good thank deal. You. Thank you. And John, I think you had a question. Did you, is there something I can help can, with? Can you hear me? I can. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you could hear me or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, can we, you talked about, I'm already on the Handshake app. I've already done the onboarding, but I don't know if I added everything as far as classes I've taken and and skills. How do I, can I go back in my mobile phone? Because I only have the app on my mobile phone. See, that's a good question. And I, earlier in the presentation, I said I'm, I'm demoing the desktop app. Um, I have not played around with the mobile app. Um, and I'll let you know the reason why. I have a career services account. I have a student account and I have an employer account so that I can experience the tool as, you know, like as everybody would. And Mm -hmm. every time I try to log in on my mobile app, because I have the three accounts, it diverts me somewhere else. All of that is just to say, I have not experienced the mobile app as a student, but I will, John. I'm going to find a way to do it. I'm going to meet with our handshake rep and I'll find out how you can edit your profile from your phone. I don't know where that option is. I know very easily from the desktop app. And if you don't have access to, you know, the desktop computer next time you're on campus, um, please, you can visit uh, any of the accelerators, log uh-huh. into Handshake, click on the little icon on the far right, and go to My Career Interests, My Profile. Um, if you're wanting to check to see if your profile is 100% complete, again, 
that little toolbar right there will tell you, and you can just scroll down and see if there are any sections that say you need to add information. Sorry, Trish, do you know about the mobile app? Are you able to help with that one? Sorry, I wasn't following. That's okay. What was the, the question? question the question was about the mobile app. And I know we encourage students to use it because it makes it fast to apply for jobs. But if you need to edit your profile, can you edit your profile from the mobile app? I would think you would be able to, but let me see if I have my Handshake app here. And John, that's a great question. I promise we will get an answer to you. We may not have all the answers at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I mean, I, I can go to a, a desktop. I have access everywhere to that. I know, but while you're on the phone, it's so convenient. Yeah. Where my handshake app go? As the phone's always with you. It is. And I'm sure there's a way. And we will add that to our next presentation, probably before we post this. And I should stop recording. I'm looking. I'm looking. So, so I was able to pull it up. I'm sorry. I know the light won't let you see it. But at the bottom of the handshake app, there's a button that says account. And I clicked on account. I'm looking to see, I can edit my job preferences, view profile across the top, view profile. And yes, you can edit your profile from there. I don't know that it shows you.